Now, I've been really privileged to have a lot of fantastic jobs in my career. And I can tell you, in almost every single interview I've ever had, I always get the same question. What was it like working on ships? Hello everybody and welcome back to my show. Now that is the biggest question I got in interviews when I did job interviews. Now let me just say this, working on cruise ships was like being in a velvet prison. You got some time off, but that time off was limited because you have to be back on the ship at a certain time, uh, you have to eat at a certain time, uh, you would have um, you know, a very small room, about half the size of my man cave for two people. Uh, you'd work on cruise ships for six months on, two months off. It was an experience that I would never change for anything. It made me the person I am today, and I will always be grateful for working on cruise ships. My very first job on cruise ships was with a company called Majesty Cruise Lines, and the ship was called Royal Majesty. And I don't even think the company's around anymore. Let's just say it shocked me the culture shock, you should be on a cruise ship for six months. I probably made it to four months because I really struggled with understanding where I was and what I was supposed to do because I'd never done anything like this before. But it did set up an understanding of what I'd get into in the future. Now, upon returning home, from that experience, I got some odd jobs, I was earning money, but then I had the opportunity to work for a real cruise company, Royal Caribbean, and I was uh, able to join Radiance of the Seas as a recreation specialist. This job, I'd work with kids for one week and then adults the next week, and then they'd sort of rotate. Radiance of the Seas was brilliant. The ship was state-of-the-art, the people on it were brilliant, the experience was brilliant, the company was brilliant, and I really had a great time on the Radiance of the Seas. After I finished my contract on the Radiance, I went home for two months and then I went back on ships, and this time it was the Vision of the Seas. And once again, it was absolutely brilliant, it was fantastic, lots of people, new ports of call, learned about different cultures, got a sunburn, Fantastic. Halfway through this contract, I was asked to join Grandeur of the Seas, where I then did the rest of my contract. Finished that contract, and luckily, it doesn't happen very often, but I was able to go back on the Grandeur for another six months. When I finished the Grandeur's contract, I thought I retired from cruise ships. That was it. A little bit of fate, a little bit of luck, I was asked to join another cruise line, Princess. And the ship was called the Island Princess. Now, my experience with Princess Cruise Line wasn't great. I didn't like the people I was working with. The job was not the same that I was used to. There was just a different feel to the whole experience happening, but I decided to not work my full contract and retire again from cruising. Now, those are all the ships I used to work on, but I did the same job on all the different ships. I was either a cruise staff, recreation specialist, assistant cruise director, and in my job, I did a lot of crazy things. I was doing napkin folding, I was doing line dance classes, I was doing bingos, I was doing game shows, I was doing trivia, I was doing the quest, I was doing all the fun activities while you are on board. Now, I hope that someday my kids have the opportunity to travel the world and meet new people and learn about new cultures because I think that experience really made me the person I am today. Well, folks, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. See ya.